wild new comedy, Sasquatch Sunset, takes you along on a... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it takes you along on a year in the life of a Bigfoot family. And Oscar-nominated actor Jesse Eisenberg gives a performance that is literally beyond words. Huh. Take a look. Oh. 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 I love everything about this crazy movie. Yeah. There's no dialogue. <laughs> but you said it was one of the best scripts you've ever read. Yes, it was absolutely brilliant. So I'm friends with the writers and directors. They're these brothers, the Zellner brothers. And they pitched me this thing over the phone. They said, we have the script, and you have no dialogue, and we don't see your face. And I said, thank you. I can't wait to read it as a friend. And, um, <laughs> and then uh, I read it. And within like two pages, and I think audiences feel the same way, like within two minutes, you, you feel it. connected to these yeah. characters as though yeah. they're like you're watching people. And it's just this brilliant combination of something so unusual and something so wonderfully made. Yeah. yeah. Well, the movie also stars Riley Keough as the lone female Sasquatch <laughs> of the family. That's never a comfortable spot to be in. But uh, <laughs> not that anyone can recognize either of you. But yeah. you were in full the makeup chair uh, for hours every day, yeah. um, even before putting on the costume. Yeah. So what was that process like? And how was it? how hard was it to emote from under all of that? Oh, the whole thing was terrible. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's, um, it was like an hour and 45 minutes at four in the morning. I mean, oh. it sounds like I'm asking for pity. I'm not, but kind of I am. Uh, you basically, <laughs> and you get glue on every single part of your face because oh my God. the makeup oh my is God. so amazing, but it, it has to amazing. really like kind of fit with every single twitch of your face. And so it was just like, uh, glue all over the face. It was like an hour, 45 minutes for like the face. Yeah. And then you get on the suit that's tighter than, like it's smaller than what your actual body is. <laughs> and, uh, and you're just in this thing for 12 hours and it's just this strange- How do you go to the bathroom? Good question. <laughs> Usually that comes like four or five questions in. Um, but, uh, <laughs> No, no, we each had like a designated like makeup person and my person, Kayla, she, I would go to like this, um, you know, we were shooting out like way in the wilderness in the Redwoods yeah. and uh, she would hold my shoes and, and sometimes my mustache um, <laughs> and, uh, my, and my sippy bottle with my protein in it because we can't eat um, oh and, uh, and I would go pee for a minute and then the crew would all be pissed off because it would take like 20 minutes to put the thing back on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> were, you people, were you smelly too? Yeah, I was prior to the film, though. Yeah, that's <laughs> fully immersive. Yeah. Okay, so he knew you'd be the right guy. Exactly, it was consistent. So to prepare for this role, I understand you went to Sasquatch Boot Camp. Yes. What did that entail? Can I go? Is it a thing? <laughs> it's not a thing, but it should be a thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. did like a little boot camp together, which meant just like kind of learning how to move, learning what grunts to say in different situations. Yeah. If we're calling out for our friends, it's like a woo, like a high pitch grunt, <laughs> and then like anger. You know, like when you're you're, um, you know, uh, walking near a dog that's eating, and it's kind of like this yeah, yeah. We had those, um, and uh, learning how to walk, to eat, to all, do all this stuff, and it was really fascinating. And I recommend Sasquatch Boot Camp. Don't search it. There's nothing there now, but maybe we should create it. Yeah. So, so I read that there's this really smart, like the world's smartest ape in Des Moines, Iowa. Yes. And that you I'm brought. So proud. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know. I'm from Iowa as well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Same thing. Do you know Kanzi? I, I wish I did. Okay. It's a god boy, right? Yes. Yes, yes, Kanzi is his Kanzi, 43 years old, yeah. actually. Yeah. Right? You know. Oh, what well, yeah, We were the yeah. same year. And, <laughs> and you're... <laughs> Go back to your old yearbooks. And... Yeah. <laughs> and, you, uh, and you showed him clips, right? Yeah. yeah. You showed the ape clips. Oh. Yeah. Well, how, did, how did he react yeah. to that? It was incredible. So there's this ape initiative in Des Moines, Iowa, where they have the only like bonobo monkeys outside of the uh, DR, that side of the Democratic Republic of Congo, where they where their the, where their main habitat is. And Kanzi is a 43 year old bonobo, mm -hmm. the smartest non human animal in the world, wow. and um, has some overlaps with what our characters are doing in this movie, yeah. movement and you know kind of behaviors. Yeah. And so we showed Kanzi 
the movie and um, so the screen. So Kanzi loves movies, like watches movies, scrolls through and chooses his own movies. Does he um, watch your own movies? He, he watches some of my movies, <laughs> uh, likes the dramedies. Um, he does. Just because it has both. Uh -huh. um, no, but um, so anyway, so no, Kanzi is watching the movie. The movie, like the screen that Kanzi watches on is behind like this very thick plexiglass mm -hmm. uh, a wall right. because Kanzi just kind of casually watching it and then just boom, like out of nowhere, <laughs> oh. smashes the screen. And wow. bonobos are like smaller than us, but they have five times the strength of wow. human oh. beings. Yeah. And so Kanzi just kind of is casually, you know, the way like we would like go like that, but it's five times the <laughs> yeah. amount on my face. So he was annoyed, he didn't like it. I was told that it's not necessarily annoyance, oh. it's kind of a show of dominance. Oh. Yeah. And so he may oh. like it, but he'll yeah. it in charge. In charge. Exactly. Aren't the bonobos the ones who are, don't Bonobo. ever commit adultery? Bonobo. Bonobos? Yeah. Maybe. I think they're all, the, they're I, very faithful. I, I think read that's that. in his next month of How would you read that, that, Joy? I read it. I no, no, I saw adultery there. Yeah. <laughs> you read yes. really? Yes, adultery happens in person uh, all, all the time, long. actually. All day long. So I think it, you might be right in certain aspects, but it depends on the definition of adultery. Um, <laughs> and if it's the definition that if I'm the thinking of. If occasion arises, then they become adulterous. And the occasion does arise like often. Other, like other yes. <laughs> no, they come and they, they just kind of like, Seemingly like, yes. I, this they, is, yeah. It's too early in the morning, yeah. but I'll send you pictures. Yes, yes I, we, can, we can move on. But, but the film is so interesting because it's almost like 25 minutes in, I think, if you start feeling like you're watching a documentary about, oh, yes. about a Apes. group of animals or yes. people. Exactly. Thank you for saying that. That's yeah, exactly the, that's the, the feeling exactly. that you get. Exactly. So the and style... all the emotions that come yes. along with it. It's exactly right. It's like yes. you're watching a nature documentary and you suddenly feel like, oh, yes. I understand what they're going through. Exactly. Because I was like is. watching with my husband. I said, see, that's you. Exactly. <laughs> This is a flattering thing to tell your friends. Yes, but yeah. that's, that's you. Bonobo, that's what that's they're depicting. Bonobo, bonobo. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. but, but people should see this. Okay. Um, now, now, you were nominated for an Oscar for playing Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Yes, of course. You. In the 2010 film, The Social Network. I think everyone's seen that. Oh, the director, David Fincher, and writer, Aaron Sorkin, admit they've talked about a sequel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always it? looking for some tea. Would you be willing to revisit that role? I have no tea. I have no <laughs> cup or bag or water. No, I don't know anything. They typically don't do sequels to movies that, you know, don't have robots or explosions in them. So I can't imagine yeah. there'd be a sequel for this. Are you saying Mark Zuckerberg is not a robot? <laughs> wow. That is the best response you could have given me. So, yes. um, <laughs> next up, <laughs> yeah. you're directing yes. your second film yeah. called A Real Pain, yeah. as well Ooh. as uh, starring it opposite Succession's Kieran Culkin. Oh, I love that. Now, you shot it in Poland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about it other than you won't be dressed as a Sasquatch? Yes, yes, yes. I wear all my own skin. At, um, <laughs> yes, um, uh, this company, Searchlight's, putting it out October 18th. It's a movie that's like a very kind of personal movie. Yeah. It even shot at the house my family fled in 1938. Wow. And, uh, and it was just this, but it's like, it's a comedy. It's like a kind of buddy comedy through Poland. Um, and Kieran is just absolutely brilliant in it. That's wow. so cool. Yeah, so it was a thrill. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 You know. So, we're going to thank Jesse Eisenberg. Sasquatch Sunset opens in select theaters April 12th and nationwide April 19th. I'm telling you, do yourself a favor because you're going to see so many people you recognize. Yep. You're going to feel them, you're going to hear, and you're going to think, oh, that's Uncle Andy. It, it's, it's remarkable. It's a remarkable and fun film. Yes.